are back in the unit today. Chris, what's the next project? So guys, we're trying to solve an anodizing issue here and a pre-finishing issue. So right now I'm trying to create flow. I don't know if you remember it before, but essentially all the tanks were down that end and it was all a bit of a mess. And then this unit here, our vibratory finisher, was leaking all over the floor. So I've got to solve both this issue, i.e. make sure it doesn't leak over the floor and make sure that actually we're going to get it to work correctly without it, um, with it finishing really and everything else. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our parts to come through, flow into the, into the, into the, into the ultrasonic, into the clean water tank, into an etch, into an anodized, into another clean water tank and out and back upstairs. So you're going to follow me on this little journey and we'll see how this all goes and comes together. Tomorrow I'm going to go to A1 Anodizing. Yeah, unfortunately you couldn't get any content from A1 Anodizing, but they did give us some valuable information. Oh, here's a little feature from our new starter, Matthew. Camera. Go on, Matthew. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing I need to do is make sure that this vibratory finisher doesn't walk across the floor. So what happens is normally when it powers on, it vibrates so much that it starts to walk over towards that walk. wall over there. So Come on Chris, do it doesn't look like it has legs. Drill and whack in these eyelid bolts here and get those in the floor and then we'll use some strapping to keep it in place so that it doesn't walk anymore. Right. I haven't used these in years, so I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. On that, I think we can all agree with you, Chris. <laughs> all right, this should be this should be pretty straightforward, actually. They used to, I think, people used to have a tool for these that you basically like whack on there and you could like do it all up, but we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Not sure this is going well already. Let's see. Don't I mean it is screwed down actually, I just feel it. Yeah. I think so anyway. Either that or it's just about to pull out the floor. Mr. Hudson doesn't really know what he's doing. Which would make sense. Let's screw this down some more. So I think what I was meant to do was uh, leave the bolts in and then just do this knot on. Would help if we had the right spanner as well. It's got like a, I'll show you this one. It's got this wedge and as you do this up, it pulls the wedge further and further up here. So it splits, splays out the bottom so that it actually grips the bottom of the hole. So now I'm doing this, I realize the mistake that I'm making. So I think, leave it in there pop it in complete and then just do the nut up and then that's the art that's the answer right there or it's upstairs it's just a mess around it we're getting there we are slowly but surely you know that all this is all organized here and uh this wax going the table that was the table that was basically over opposite the compressor is go is gone completely so this will go and we'll get all the way clear through here good morning hudson lighting chris speaking 
Chris, get off the phone, you've got a job to do. Oh, I'll turn the ratchet on, there we go. So now all the bolts are actually in. Obviously this one's a bit higher than the rest, well I think that one is a bit lower. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some like transport strap in, we'll go around with the transport strap and just try and tie this so that it doesn't walk across the floor. That's my hope anyway, we'll see what happens. And then if it walks this way, then I've got another problem. I have to put more bolts in at the back and make the old bloody thing go. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to just tie it here because I've got nowhere else to tie it. I know, you, I know you're all like waiting for me to get the vibrator finisher on. I'm trying to get this pipe work on. So I'm going to make a mess, I think. Who, who um, basically just started a trial day with us today has suggested that we take this fitting off, which I think is actually a really good idea. Um, it's a good idea up until the fact that I spill water all over the floor. Um, which is about to happen, I think. So we'll see. And I'm gonna get really, oh, it's like milk. Oh, 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 this is disgusting. Man up, Chris. What can you imagine milking a cow's like? <laughs> All right. So now I need some uh, PTFE tape. Well, it's already kind of got some PT. Well, I want to put some new fresh PTFE on there, whack that on there, and that'll run the pipe work out. You're waiting. What do you want? It's uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you think this will work? Hudson's idea? No. If it's his idea, no. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Liam? Think it's going to work? Not a clue, no. No. Not, not in a chance in hell. Yeah, it's going to be soon. It's oh. very special. I kind of like how this vibrating finish looks like it's coming apart already. It's great. <laughs> right. Uh... <coughs> oh, oh, it's going all over my hand. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> A little bit more. Come on. A little. It's got to be facing this way. All right, that looks good. All right, that's that fitting him. Uh, yeah. I'm going to wash my hands, I think. It doesn't actually look too bad, but, I mean, trust me, the liquid is nasty. Really is. Absolutely horrible. None of those shots just work out really randomly. Right. Uh, what are we going to do? I, do you know, I don't even know, I'm making this up as I go along. Like, I literally, yeah, off the cuff. Um, so, we're going with this. I'm going to do a little short section, and then there's a rubber. Who's stolen my rubbers? My rubbers are gone. What am I going to do? I can't have any fun anymore, can I? <laughs> my rubber. That's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, got my glue. Got my got my pipe. I need a, a hacksaw. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's hope for the best. I'll, re I'll go. I'll go with that long. And then when we um, spill liquid all over the floor, it will be nice and difficult to get to. Just how we like it. Oh my god, reminded me of my college days. Mom's tired. <laughs> uh, it's just when you're holding on to the wrong end of it. Yeah. There we go. Right. Thanks. I mean, you're not really meant to use a reamer on the outside, but needs must and all that. It'll be fine. Right, here you go, Liam. And then, can I have some more blue roll? Oh. Can I have some more blue roll? Blue roll, yeah. Yeah, yeah, catch. What we had last time was we used compression 
and of course, yeah, the, the joint just came straight apart. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of tissue in there just for a second. Oh God, I'll make this, let's get some of that, some of that good stuff right on there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I can smell it now. Oh, I'm getting high. Come on. There we go. Should be good. All right. Next is a rubber cup lip. So we're going to go on there with the rubber and then that basically will be our vibration point. Um, and then we'll have a final piece of tube to go on here on this tank. So I'm also do the tank connection now and we'll do the rubber bit last. Um, and I've got to find a hole saw that's... What size is that? Any ideas? Any guesses what size that is? I think. 